Welcome to another one of my hunting adventures. This is a solo backpack muzzle loader whitetail hunt in Tennessee. Uh, this is during the rut in November when a lot of bucks are up and moving, a spot that I try to spend time in every year. Just a lot of activity. It's low deer densities, but during the rut, you can call these deer in close. And I've had a lot of good success. There's a lot of sign, there's some funnels, there's cool canyons, and there's a cool cave where I camp where I can get fresh water. And it's just a nice spot to spend time in the woods. And so this is kind of how a three day hunt unfolded. And I packed in the first day, uh, a little hunting on the way in, and then just kind of set up camp. Enjoyed seeing Rubs uh, riding camp. Uh, and then it was the back end of uh, hurricanes, were really, really wet, and there was a big cold front moving in. So I was just in there to be ready when that cold front pushed through and hopefully had deer moving on their feet. So here's how it unfolds. Well, Steve, I just shot a buck. Well, about an hour ago. It's been raining. So decided to seek shelter in one of my favorite caves and dine on some of your biltong. Thanks, buddy. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's some old whiskey barrel rings in here. Or shine or whatever they were. Uh, so, anyway, I thought the hurricane was done blowing through yesterday, but apparently it had a lot more in it today. So, I got a little wet, but now I'm in here, gonna dry out, eat some breakfast under this nice canopy, eat my biltong, biltong and granola. Mmm. And then I get to go see if I can find this buck. Wish me luck. talk a lot about hunting from the ground when I get asked a lot about well what's my setup look like so let's have a look because this morning we had some success it's really cold now there's a buck laying over there let's see where I shot him this is where I sit this is just a rock that I found and I like to bring a full sleeping pad in case I want to take a nap. I also have some slitch from the ground. I'll lean against my pack. There's my muzzle loader. CVI Acura. Keep my binos and grunt calls and snacks and water. And there's the stuff I want to have handy there as well. And then I just kind of overlook this kind of funnel and oak flat. And there's white oaks and I mean, deer bed right here. Um, there's trails and there's scrapes and there's rubs so I'm right in where they are I just try to get here with the right wind and sometimes I don't even care they come from every direction and in November during the rut try to call them in and rattle them in and this morning over there that's kind of what happened about 50 yards shot him he ran downhill and then a big storm came in so I went and hid in the cave um, but we're going to go pack him, quarter him up, so get ready to pack him out. So this rock where I sit, it's just a conveniently placed rock, and it lets me have view of a lot of this area, but the game can't really see me. There's, there's big, big rubs here, as you can see here. This is a signpost That's rub, cool. and I can basically sit there even have a decent range of motion where animals can't see me. They can only kind of just see the top of my head and eyes, but I can see a pretty good area and then I can use the rock to lean on to make shots. So it's just somewhere that I found with predictable winds. Um, again, I shot this guy, he, he was coming right to me. I was rattling and calling around 6.30 in the morning, shot him uh, 50 yards and he kind of ran out of view. I couldn't even mark blood. I just took off to the cave. Uh, to gather the rain, I mean, it was pouring. I actually had my, my ground pad over me as like a tarp just trying to stay dry until I said, screw it, I just ran to the cave. Hung out in there, dried out, and then came back out to find them. Nice. Uh. 
It's cool. Public land. Tennessee Whitetail. the first morning of my 2022 Tennessee public land backpack hunt. Had a nice eight come in. So, muzzleloader season, hurricanes in November. Uh, wasn't the weather I expected, but we have a front coming in and uh, got to one of my favorite sitting spots and got the rattling and grunting and 6.30 in the morning, look who shows up. Nice eight point. He's gonna be great, thank you, sir. And we're gonna have to cut him up and get him back to camp. All right, I drug him down to where I can process him. So what I'll do here now is, is the gutless method. There's a video of how I've done this in the past already on YouTube, so I'm not gonna show you everything. But basically, I'm gonna quarter him up and debone him into game bags. And... And then we'll load them up in there. Carry them back to camp. This is pretty cool. This is, it's quartering in, far shoulder. This is the far shoulder, entrance to the other side. But this is my power belt EOR. Fully mushroomed. There's even the power belt blue cap off the back of the EOR. Pretty neat. See the bullet. You know exactly what it's supposed to. <gasps> he didn't run 50 yards. You can see a detailed pick of the Parabell ELR fully mushroomed and doing what it's supposed to do. So a quick summary of my gutless method is I basically skin down the back, peel that hide, and then you remove all the meat one side at a time. So here I'm removing the back straps, then I'll remove the front shoulder, rear shoulders neck meat and even go inside and get the inside tenderloins. So this is just the first step. Again, there's a detailed video on this on my channel already that was linked prior, uh, but it's a really good way to pack up a deer in the backcountry. For a whitetail, I'll usually try to just use two bags, one bag for back straps and tenderloins, another bag for hams and neck and another quarter meat, and all that can fit to my pack. Well, he's in game bags, and in the pack, camp is that way. I gotta go back there and get some R&R &R and decide what it is I'm gonna do. trying to get a fire started. Let's take a, core, a quick tour of camp. There's pretty pure fire. There's harvest of the day. And this is my seek outside Cimarron. See some smoke coming out with a titanium wood stove, which is so choice when it's freezing out and got uh, just a pad and uh, sick of sleeping bag pad cooking kit uh, wet wood that I can need to dry out and dry wood that I pulled from the cave today um, so I need to get back make sure this fire is gonna do its gig but this is pretty big solo shelter um, it's also great for two um, I'm gonna relax. I got some Snickers, some Tennessee whiskey, some Jack Daniels. So I will celebrate the hunt of the day and decide if I'm gonna pack this one out and keep hunting or if I'm gonna stay the night. I don't know. I'm gonna take a nap and make my decision. See ya. 
Well, with a weather forecast with a low of 20 degrees and how wet everything already is and knowing I have to pack this deer out at some point and camp and anything else I may harvest, I made the call to just pack him up and head out of the back country for the night, uh, hang him at home, and then pack back in pre dawn in the morning. I love how they're hammering trees right here in camp. Back in camp last morning, I packed the deer out last night because uh, I can't carry camp and a deer by myself. So packed him out of here and had a friend pick me up and got that meat all hung back at home and back in here. So uh, morning hunt, saw some saw four does, but no bucks. So pretty cool to see how tore up camp is though. It just makes me wonder if one's gonna come walking right through here. But it's time to dry the tin out. It's been so wet, got a fire going. And I'm gonna start with a cup of coffee, dry everything out. Uh, got some meat to cook, so I think I'll have a snack. A couple little morsels from the deer yesterday, and then I'll kind of hunt my way out of here and I'll probably be packing out at dark. So maybe something for the evening hunt. But anyway, it's been a great adventure. Some camp meat, just some little bits. I'll kind of do some camp bits, just put some pieces under there. I'll save some of this, but I'll get a little fat. Put some fat in. So I'm going to cook it in. Much. Nice little benefit of the little wood stove is you can saute, you can't eat so much. Making some lunch meat. And lunch snacks. Can't really beat that on a camping trip. That's hot. Well, it's last afternoon and it's time to pack out of here. So I'm loading everything up and it's a couple hours out and a few miles. I'll just kind of still hunt my way out. Still have one buck tag. So ultimately can't complain though. Had a good time, kind of solo adventure and the Tennessee mountains never disappoint. It's good to get in here, have a few days to myself few days to think and meditate and be thankful and also just good to kind of kick it old school freestyle get a nice buck can't complain see ya